Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you know why we pulled you over today? Exactly. It's because you're not subscribed. So you better fix that right now. Or we're gonna have to take you in. <laughs> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen. That's not it. That's not it. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to react to a lot of content today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to say. I, I, I'm not going to lie. Um, to be honest, uh, we probably will have more opportunities to react to stuff. Um, but for now, I feel like uh, <laughs> it's going to be a late one if, if we do that. But let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, for now... Let's just go. Apple Watch domination of smartwatch market continues despite popularity of sub minus one hundred dollars devices. Apple Watch domination of the smartwatch market sees no sign of ending despite the growing popularity of much cheaper devices. A new report today says that much of the twenty four percent growth in the market during twenty twenty one was driven by demand for sub minus one hundred dollars models but that Apple continued to outsell its nearest competitor by a factor of 3 to 1. Counterpoint research said that Apple's market share did slip a little, from 32.9% in 2020 to 30.1% in 2021. But it still sold almost three times as many watches as second-placed Samsung. The global smartwatch market shipments hardly grew in 2020 due to COVID-19, but they recorded a healthy 24% yield Y growth in 2021. According to CounterPoint Research's recently published global smartwatch model tracker, the fourth quarter alone saw shipments of more than 40 million units, the highest quarterly shipments ever. The growth was thanks to strong demand for sub minus $100 smartwatches, although Apple remained the undisputed leader. Yeah, I mean, and this makes sense, right? Because, like, obviously, a lot of people are getting into the smartwatch market now that it's popular. And what are they going to do? They're going to get the cheapest option because they only need a certain set of features. And they believe that that is going to be it. And maybe it is, right? That's fine. Um, and what you see is that some people are switching over because they do uh, 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 feel like, okay, the Apple Watch might have too many features that I'm paying for and I don't really need it. Um, and others are saying like, well, maybe I should have an Apple Watch because it has the options that I need. So you see a, a little bit of shifting, but still Apple is on top. And uh, the reason for that, <laughs> uh, which is something that I feel like is very important, is because of optimization. Is because of how well it works and because of how much... And the optimization and, and the reason that it works so well is because they have control. Um, which a lot of people just underestimate. Um... It's, it's basically, it's so crazy because like my first smartwatch was a Sony smartwatch, which was, I don't know, some weird thing that you could clip on your wrist. Uh, and it, it wasn't really a smartwatch. It was just something that was running some form of software. It was really, really slow. And um, I felt like a king. It was crazy. I feel like afterwards, after that, I had a Galaxy Wear or something. Because it, it was the first Galaxy Watch with um, Android Wear, I feel like. Which was crazy. Uh, or was it... Maybe I had the Motorola one for a little bit. But um, that, that, was only, that only came out in the United States. I, I only had it for like a week. Um, and then I just returned it because I didn't have the money to keep it. Uh, <laughs> anyways, that, those were different times. Um, so yeah, and now I have the Apple Watch and I'm never going to go back. What I was trying to say is like, they basically gave Apple the market. They, they had the market, Samsung, Sony, uh, uh, Motorola, uh, they were building a market, but it just, they never took it seriously. And the optimization was bad. It sucked absolute cock. And then, uh, uh Apple just came in and took over and, um, yeah, it's <laughs> basically what happened. Uh, 2.8% uh, is a lot of money, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, of, of course, like losing 2.8% of the market is... is <laughs> that's not a joke, especially not when you're talking about those uh, stacks of, of Dukes. But um, you still have to understand that 30% is... Uh, <laughs> That is that is quite insane. I'm not gonna lie. Like thirty percent is, I, I'm I'm not I, like I feel like I tweeted about this a long time ago, um, and 
obviously let me see so um so i see i see a lot of people with concern uh, uh well i see a lot of people that are concerned about apple and what happened to the apple watch series 7 right because like uh, they were running out of stock quite quickly like worldwide and uh, people were getting concerned uh, we, he we hear rumors about massive problems with design availability and holiday season whatever uh, not everyone fully understands why uh, why uh, not everyone fully understands why people are going so wild about this let me explain Apple sells more watches than the entire switch market combined which is insane Apple uh, 30 plus million in 2019 Swiss watches 20 plus million in 2019 which is insane the entire switch uh the swiss uh, uh watch market that's absolutely insane um so but some Swiss uh, swiss uh watches seem more expensive true but this is the market apple last year 30 plus billion dollars in sales sales and we're talking about just the apple watch that's crazy so that was 2020 swiss watches around 15 uh, uh 15 uh, plus billion so dollars which is crazy that that's that's around half of what apple is is gaining in terms of like dukes in this market um start to see the scope question mark maybe this one will help apple has well back then had 32 uh, 33 percent of the entire smartwatch market doesn't seem like much the next competitor has eight percent some company called samsung they do something with computers <laughs> it's just i like my own tweets sorry i just i mean I'm, I'm i'm just great what can i say no i'm kidding uh so why are people going wild about the series 7 the series 6 was out of stock in some places uh many partners were are running out of stock of apple's flagship smartwatch uh or apple watch actually uh, and the new release uh, still does not have a release date. That was quite a wild thing. Um, a lot of people were suggesting that Apple wanted to release a different design, but had to switch last minute. And this is what you got. Um, is Apple in trouble? Not really. Um, but they could have. Uh, but they could have a decent setback if they don't refill stock or release the Series Seven, right? Because of how big that market is, then you could see that yes if you put it in that scope about three percent losing about three percent of that market is absolutely insane three percent of 30 million uh, 30 billion sorry that's crazy money um and then obviously we got into the discussion like why uh, why is apple share so big some people would say because of iphone well it's not just because of iphone um it's more about the competition being utter idiots it's absolutely crazy how they handled the smartwatch market it's absolutely insane that these people have practically built it up and then never took it seriously. It's absolutely insane. Um, remember the company I mentioned, Samsung? They don't just do something with computers. They only act that way. <laughs> I think They're massive. Anyways, Samsung and others released smartwatches before Apple did yet mostly with different operating systems than their flagship phones, not Wear OS based on Android, but Tizen OS, result, hopeless. How, uh, how about Sony? They used Micrium? <laughs> this says it all. Google tried with Motorola, uh, uh, which was decent. I mean, it was a decent smartwatch, but it was expensive for me, so I couldn't keep it, but it was cool. Yet Google is Google. They never release something worldwide and uh, anymore. And uh, that means developers don't care enough. So it didn't take off. Now, these melodramatic tales about Apple being a bully and the uh, iPhone being a free ticket to success, um, the competition basically gave Apple the market. It's crazy. It's absolutely mental. If you see the scope of this market right now, they basically gave away 30 billion dollars in revenue year over year. Let that sink in. That's literally the dumbest shit I've heard in my entire life. I, I can't, I literally can't wrap my head around that shit. It's crazy. It's absolutely mental. Still, to this day, no competitor has stepped in with the control over software and hardware to even get close to even get fucking close <laughs> uh, to the experience people have 
on the Apple Watch. It's mental. That's why their products don't take off. That's why their products take off. Sorry, Apple's products take off. It's balanced and optimized. Um, developers care. Maybe not about Apple. I mean, you've noticed how developers recently, some developers are recently talking about Apple, uh, but about making money, making stacks, making dukes, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking about big milky green stacks of dough, okay? Cool hard cash. <laughs> I'm not sure what I was on about back then. Okay, this was October 2021, okay? That's a few months ago. I don't know. I, I, I was high as a kite right here, okay? Um, and today on the smartwatch market, uh, making that... Uh, and today on the smartwatch market, make that... Wait, what? This sent sentence doesn't make sense. But I feel like what I was trying to say, to make those big milky green stacks of dough cold hard cash you do that through the app store still today you do that not just because apple is too big but because the competition even with years of advantage aren't worth the breath it take it takes to say their goddamn name in this market i mean fiona might have uh some shit but um she ain't got shit on me. No, I'm kidding. No, Fiona is literally Fiona is insane, dude. She shit. That's why people are now going wild about Apple and their Watch Series Seven because without the Apple Watch, there is no smartwatch market. <laughs> it's mental. It is true, though. It is true. Like even the Swiss market is literally a dwarf in in, in comparison to what Apple is doing. It's mental. It's mental. Anyways, um, I feel like we're not done here yet, so Apple's let's just finish this. Average selling price also meant that the company took home around half of the revenue in the global smartwatch market. Counterpoint also gave a rundown of the performance of competing brands. 1. Samsung was one of the most successful smartwatch OEMs in 2021. Its QoQ growth was more than 200% in the third quarter to record the brand's best shipments ever. This growth retained strength until the last quarter. Moving to Wear OS through a partnership with Google has worked well for the brand in many ways. 2. Huawei launched high-end new models and kids' smartwatch. I mean, can I just say that that is like years too late? Can I just say that? Years too late. Like, the entire market moved on. Thanks, Samsung. Thanks. 2. Huawei launched high-end new models and kids' smartwatches despite continued U.S. sanctions, but inevitably its shipments would decline year-wide. Due to the Watch GT3 and Watch Fit Mini, which were released in the fourth quarter, Huawei's shipments more than doubled QoQ in the quarter. 3. IMO did not release a new model in 2021, resulting in a slight year-wide decline. However, as it entered markets outside China, such as Europe, it remained the undisputed number one in the kids' smartwatch segment. 4. Amazfit succeeded in expanding its position in the market in 2021, recording more than 20% yield-wide growth over the past two years. Its ASP also rose 11% as the proportion of the GTR and GTS, the high-end models of the brand, gradually increased. 5. Garmin performed better than expected in 2021. Garmin had initially focused on introducing high-priced smartwatches for special- Does anyone care? Like literally, does anyone care about this shit? Garmin had initially focused on introducing high-priced smartwatches for special categories like aviation and divers. But it is gradually shifting focus to bringing attractive consumer products from price and design perspective. As a result, it showed 35% yield-wide growth and took 6th place by raising its global ranking by 1 place. 6. Fitbit showed weak performance in 2021. Since the launch of the Sense Inverse 3 models in the third quarter of 2020, there has been no launch of new models, which seems to be due to strategy changes and reorganization due to the mer- Dude, what are you guys doing? Where are the comments? Where- where's chat? <laughs> I feel like no one is talking, dude. Like, am I just fucking uh, uh, streaming for myself? Where is everyone, dude? Where is everyone? Right? Man, dude. Exactly. Access the night is here. Where's the rest? Where's everyone? 
Like, I, I know this is a boring part, but we have to get through this to get, like, the full scope of the information. I have been in accused, can you imagine? I've been in accused of cutting the videos in such a way that Apple would come out bigger, or better, or whatever. Right? So I am playing this all the way through right now, okay? You understand that? I hope you do. We are experimenting with universal control. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? Um, just... Do better multitasking, okay? Just chat, uh, put messages in chat, and experiment with universal control at the same time, okay? Otherwise, um, I feel like I'm doing this for no one. <laughs> Moggy. Which seems to be due to strategy changes and reorganization due to the merger with a Google. Therefore, it showed a yield Y decrease of more than 15% in 2021. But it is expected to rebound with the release of the Versifor in the second half of 2022. 7. Xiaomi showed strong performance with its MI Watch Lite in the first half of 2021 and released the Redmi Watch 2 series in Q4 2021. In this series, it launched a Lite variant to broaden users' choices and we expect it to contribute to Xiaomi's market share gain. 8. Noyes, the one local king in India's smartwatch market was the fastest growing brand among the global top 9 brands. Leading the growth of the Indian smartwatch market, Noyes was India's number one brand in 2021 and 2020. Photo, Luke Chesser, Unsplash, FTC, we- Okay, we, 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 we went through that ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ. Uh- <laughs> Now you got the full scope of the article, okay? I'm not cutting anything anymore, okay? We are going through the full article. Okay? If you have to suffer from these if no, sorry. If I have to suffer from these comments, you have to suffer from these comments as well, okay? You understand that? That's all I that's all I got to say here. Literally don't even know half of these brands, dude. No. No, I can tell you that I don't even know 90% of these brands. And you know what? I don't even care. Like, I really wanted to skip that, but if I do, I get, like, lynched, okay? I get like, oh, you are favoring your cuts for Apple. Apple is literally the one paying you to do these streams. I wish, fam. I wish. <laughs>